You rarely see a good serial killer, but if you had to cheer one on it would probably be Dexter Morgan. You might be surprised to learn that there was a real serial killer that would give Dexter a run for his money. Meet Pedrinho Martador. Born on July 17, 1954, Pedro Rodriguez Filio is one serious serial killer. He's responsible for at least 70 murders, 10 of which he committed before he reached the age of 18. Rodriguez's life started out rough from the moment he came into the world. He was born in Minas Gerais, Brazil with an injured skull as a result of a beating his mother took from his father while she was pregnant. Rodriguez targeted victims who for the most part, weren't just average everyday people. Described by one analyst as the perfect psychopath, Rodriguez went after other criminals and those who had wronged him. Pedrinho also killed a cellmate because he snored too much and another because he did not like his face. He claimed he wanted to kill for the first time at the age of 13. In a fight with an older cousin, he pushed the young man into a sugar cane press, almost killing him. Rodriguez committed his first kill when he was just 14. The victim was his town's vice mayor. The man had recently fired Rodriguez's father, who was working as a school guard, for allegedly stealing food from the school. So Rodriguez shot him in front of City Hall with a shotgun. His second murder wasn't long after. Rodriguez went on to murder another guard who was the supposed real food thief. He fled to the area of Mogi das Cruzes in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Once there, Rodriguez killed a drug dealer and participated in some burglaries as well. He also fell in love. Her name was Olympia, and the two lived together until she was killed by gang members. Olympia's death spurred Rodriguez's next crime spree. Filio committed a massacre during a wedding organized by the gang's leader, where he and some friends brutally killed seven people and injured 16 others. He tracked down several people related to her murder, torturing and killing them in his mission to find the gang member who took Olympia's life. The next notorious murder Pedro Rodriguez Filio committed was also one of vengeance. This time the target was his own father, the same man he committed his first murder on behalf of. Rodriguez's father had used a machete to kill his mother and was doing time at a local prison. Pedro Rodriguez visited his father in jail, where he killed him by stabbing him 22 times. Then, taking things to a whole new level, Rodriguez proceeded to cut out his father's heart, before chewing on it. Pedrinho Matador was finally arrested on May 24, 1973. He was placed in a police car with two other criminals, including a rapist. When the police opened the car door, they discovered that Rodriguez had killed the rapist. Being thrown in prison where he was surrounded by convicts was Rodriguez's bread and butter. Pedro Rodriguez Filio killed at least 47 of his fellow inmates, which made up a majority of his murders. It's reported that the convicts Rodriguez killed while incarcerated were ones who he felt deserved retribution. According to fellow prisoners, Pedrinho is a phenomenon of survival in the harsh prison regime, as a prisoner could hardly survive that long. He killed and wounded dozens of fellow criminals in order to survive. Once, he was attacked by five prisoners, killing three of them and chasing away the other two. To leave no doubt about his willingness to kill, he tattooed on his left arm, I kill for pleasure, recently covered by another tattoo. He was interviewed saying that he got a thrill and joy out of killing other criminals. He also said that his favorite method of murder was by stabbing or hacking with blades. Though Rodriguez was initially sentenced to 128 years in prison, the crimes he committed while he was in jail upped his sentence to 400 years. But by Brazilian law, the maximum prison sentence is 30 years. He served an additional four for the murders he carried out in prison. After remaining in prison for 34 years, he was released on April 24, 2007. Intelligence information from the National Security Force indicated that he had moved to the northeast, more precisely to Fortaleza. On September 15, 2011, local media reported that Pedrinho was arrested at his home in a rural area, where he worked as a caretaker in Balnario Camboriú, on the Santa Catarina coast. 
According to news reports from RBS News, he will have to serve eight years on charges such as riot and deprivation of liberty, committed while he was detained in Sao Paulo. He was released in 2018 and Pedrinho is now free after spending long years behind bars. He says he is sorry for his bad ways and that he has converted to Christianity. He wrote an autobiography and he has a YouTube channel where he gives advice to young people. He lives a completely different life and spends all his time trying to get young people away from crime. Pedro Rodriguez Filio is notorious in Brazil, not just for the many people he killed, but for promising the murder of other criminals.